Bienvenue my beautiful bubbles. Today I have a beautiful video for you. I was challenging myself to do a double cut crease. I'm just, I just really love this look when I saw it on Instagram. I'll link her down below uh, with this specific look. There's a range of looks that I was going for and there's so many to choose from but I wanted to challenge myself. I'm focusing mainly on the first impressions in this video today which is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. I feel like everyone has seen it and it's very saturated in the market right now, but I fell in love with the hype and I don't know yet. Give me a like down below if you do want to see a full tutorial and wear test on this foundation. I'm just kind of stuck. Um, but it really did save the eye look. Um, I didn't show that in any of the footage. Unfortunately, most of the footage I can't use, so I'm not going to focus on the eyes today. I'll focus as much as possible on the eyes, but unfortunately, all the footage was zoomed in way too close. So, that's just another YouTuber mistake. I'm sorry about that. And there was many products I was trying out today, which I'll focus more on, definitely which is the, the Canadian exclusive Marcel Translucent Powder. I've actually wanted it for a long time. I've seen it in drugstores and it was just a little bit overpriced for me. You want to find that bargain, you know what I mean? Like I'm one of those people like pay less for something and you get more, but we'll see how that plays out. As well, I, I also wanted to try the Rimmel Natural Bronze in Sunshine. Um, I was always really, very, very curious about it because I like the Stay Matte Powder. So you'll see a review on that as well today. And also I wanted to try the NYX Matte Finish, which tested top rated in a few videos, um, comparable to higher end brands. I feel like it has a little more of a skincare element to it, so I did like it for that. Mahonia Aquifolium Root Extract. I don't know. This look was a complete risk. I didn't know what to expect. It did a cut, like a hover cut crease above. There's a few things I need to improve and I'll definitely, definitely give you that at the end of the video. Right now I want you to enjoy the journey getting to where I am right now, which you'll have to see how I think about it. First I started off by prepping my skin with the NYX Matte Setting Spray. I went ahead and did my brows with the NYX Micro Bright Pencil in Espresso. Then I set it with the Marcel Translucent Powder. This brand is exclusively Canadian, but you can find it online. Now we're gonna move on to the fun part. I really wanted to challenge myself with this look and do a double cut crease with a huge wing using the Ribble Magnifies Color Edition again. I just am in love with this palette right now. And we're gonna begin building that crease with the, the Shimmery Purple. And you want to start with the pink just above the crease. And then <laughs> Next, add a pack. Next, you're going to take your angle brush. And <clears throat> so then I was really confused. I have all these eyeliners and a new one. Uh, but none of them seem to work out other than this one. So I don't know what's going on. Reviews are terrible for this one. Mostly really good, but there are a few bad ones that made me really scared about it. So I will be returning the curvature. I'm going to have to go in with my trusty Dollar Tree eyeliner. And I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be right back. So now that it's mostly done, we will be cleaning it with concealer in between the two creases. Just pat. Make sure to spray it on the brush. <laughs> so I really want to play with this gold color. Oh, let's just play with both of these in the middle between the colors to create a gradient. Next we're going to go with my favorite shade. Give it a spurt. And it's going to go in the inner corner. Why not? Now we're going to cut it with concealer. Because I can't do a wing today. Then I threw on some, went ahead and finished it with the Elf Ball Magazine and Lengthening Mascara. Then I threw on some lashes, which are the Kiss Lashes and Little Black Dress. But that's okay, we're up to the exciting part today. We're gonna try the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. I've, I've heard about this 
all month and it has a little pump here and I do believe I'd be in shade 220 because I went 235 in the Fit Me Mountain Poreless and that was just a little bit too dark for me so I decided to go a little bit lighter but I really appreciate the pump. So we're literally going to take one, get your beauty blender, wet it down and let's just go in and see what uh, my first impression is. Wow. Now let's put it to the test with the beard. I'm shook, I'm shook, I'm shook. So this is three pumps now. I did about three quarters of a pump. I didn't go like fully down. And I'm just gonna do the entire forehead this time. Um, never mind. Oh my gosh. It seems to give me a very matte finish, but also it reflects light. Just what I've been hearing. And I absolutely love that. And it actually does cover my beard. So this is definitely full coverage. I can't even see it. So we're going to take our Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and Sand and do our usual concealer treatment. Go down and that. Uh, triangle formation, and I'm going to use a brush to clean up that wing. Oh, never mind. So I've concealed in all the usual areas, make sure to let it sit for six minutes, and then we're going to bake with that Marcel powder. This is the first impressions coming up, don't want to miss it. Take your wet beauty sponge, and I've never used loose powder before. I've always used the matte, the Rimmel matte powder in translucent, so this is going to be a first for me. I'm press it in. Wow. Now let it sit on the skin for 10 to 15 minutes or as long as you can stand. Now that I'm baking in the oven, it's time to bronze. And I have a brand new bronzer. This is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in Sunshine. From what I could tell, this has a little bit of shimmer to it, which I don't really like. It might look good with the highlighter though, so we're just gonna see. Oh, that's pretty. I think there's a little bit of a redder undertone in this, but very ever so slightly. And it's one of those bronzes you can really layer up, which I appreciate. It's not pigmented right away. So you saw me last and I did not complete the look. So I'm just gonna show you what I did. I smoked out the waterline. I used uh, the pink first under the waterline using a very very fine brush because I don't like too much smoke under my eyes and then I went for the purple and I went right close into the waterline you really can't see it because I don't want too much darkness down there you work so hard to make it look bright that's what I love I also cleaned up the lines this is really good for a cut crease I've noticed you need full coverage products when you're doing a cut crease and that's what I've learned several times when doing this it's just the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, yeah, it's really good for under your eyes, and you set it with powder, it's very brightening, um, but not for a cut crease. You need something that's brighter than your skin tone that's going to cover all the pigment, especially because I did it in a way um, laying down certain colors so they have a certain gradient. Um, so laying down the, the light color first in the crease, medium color in the crease, and the darker one below that and following that shape. And then when you cut it, you get this perfect gradient, of course, blending in between with your blender brush. And that's what I did. I cleaned up my cat eyes the best that I can. I don't think they're even. I feel like that's the charm of a cat eye. I love a cat eye that's not really even. And I like it for that. This is what I worked up to. And I've turned down so many concealers, like the Curvitude. And one little side note, I did refer to the Maybelline Curvitude as a concealer. It is actually an eyeliner that came out in June of last year. So let me know if you want a review on this. 
otherwise it's going to be returned because I was not impressed by it. And thank you, Taddy, for putting that in my head because there's maybe two other reviews that were negative about it. Uh, so I just want to throw that out there. Just let me know what you want and I will definitely do it. Um, it's been a, been a very exciting video for me. But for the super stay, we're going to focus on her today because she was just released about maybe two months ago. Absolutely brand new. Um, when I put her on, like, does have more coverage than the, the, the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. But it oxidized so orange on me. I should have expected that. I've seen so many reviews on it. I would actually keep this to do your cut creases. I would keep this for my beard because I had a change of heart with this foundation because instantly I saw up close and it was covering the blackness of my beard and that's when I realized it was full coverage. So that's why I was kind of torn because I didn't see that right away. But then I went in different lights. It's always better to see your makeup in different lights and get that idea how it looks overall. I'm kind of loving it and I hate that I love it because it is 50% more expensive than the other foundations. We are getting 50% more pigment. So definitely worth it. Definitely, definitely, definitely worth it. I would rate it a 4.6. Um, it's actually like amazing because I use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and Translucent um, many, many, many times before and it looks good on camera and you kind of just like take that for granted that it's going to look good on camera but it's not really wearable if you want to bake under your eyes. So a loose powder, if you're in Canada, you can order it online. It is absolutely so good. And you get so much more than the $40 powders that you can get for the higher end brands. It's absolutely amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I covered everything. I'm the Rimmel Stay Matte Lippy. So this one's the blush one. I'm, yeah, this one's the blush that I got last time. Love it. Do a little Gigi Gorgeous toss there. But I decided to go a little bit darker. And this was actually the shade I was trying to go for. And it's just a little bit darker. It's a little bit more on the redder side. Blush has this wonderful kind of like pale overtone to it, which I loved. But I went for the Pink Blink. Amazing. And this formula, it's kiss proof, it's waterproof. Like you have to scrub it off with an oil. Let me know if you want um, Unget Ready With Me. That would be really fun to do. High School Makeup Challenge. Uh, a full review on the Super Stay Foundation. I would love to do that. Uh, because I would really love to put it to test. This. There's a few things that I'm just kind of worried about with my oily skin. Right now it's really normal. But we'll see how I react. You know what I mean? So I'm sorry if this was like a long uh, review for you. But... I was really excited about all the products and it was a really informative review because you didn't get to see the eye makeup. I just was not good at filming at the time. I'm going to set up a mirror behind the camera so I can uh, see whatever I'm filming and make sure it's in focus. But fortunately I can't use that eye, eye footage so I hope you enjoyed it for what it is which is like product review on a, a lot of products and au revoir my beautiful bubbles.